Okay, sorry about that. I was uh I was talking to a uh, artist about getting uh some work done. Um I'll I'll have it I'll have it ready um hopefully soon. I don't know when. Uh we were in the t we're just in the talks right now and uh she just sent me a message like <laughs> literally as soon as I hit it hit the uh hit the start live or go live start streaming button. So uh I was I was in a meeting, I guess. <laughs> Typical VTuber business meeting stuff. But yeah, I'm hoping to have that uh, set up soon. Uh, it should be really cool. I already have a base design, and I'm hoping she can fill in the rest. Um, so if you kind of see me cutting in and out, it's it's just, you know... As much as I'd hate to, uh, you know, interrupt streams like that, I kind of want to get the... Uh, get the new art asset done as like soon as possible because uh it'll definitely help me out later on uh with the new model that's coming into uh it, it'll also make the new model make sense and why gondola talks or why this gondola talks and why the gondola on the youtube channel does not it's uh it's all coming together but uh, let me get the game up now so that you're not staring into the void. I was going to put in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, but I got my butt absolutely destroyed last night. And uh, I kind of don't want to go through that again right now. <laughs> it was really bad. Like this one dude was just like, oh my god, he was taking like 20 minutes a turn, I swear. And it was just... It was awful. I hated it. Oh man, where is my... There it is, game capture. It still sets Mortal Kombat 11. I forgot to switch it back to Binding of Isaac. I think we've seen this cutscene a million times. So uh, the goal today is to try to get two endings. Um, where is it? Stats, endings. Yeah, as you can see, I'm I'm so close to getting all the endings now. It's 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 more than halfway at this point. What is it? Just one, two, three, four, five, five, nine, nine endings left. Um, I don't know why ending 12 was skipped. I'm assuming it's it has something to do with maybe uh, something that I didn't reach or something that I didn't do. Oh yeah, also I forgot to give a shout out to Rocket Time for the follow. Uh, literally just followed like, you know, last night. You gotta love the secret follows. But uh, let's go ahead and hop into this. We're going to do a, a basic Isaac run. I haven't ran Isaac in a long time. I always either run uh, Kane or... No. I always either run Samson or Azazel. Uh, I haven't run Isaac in quite a while. Mainly because I, I find Isaac kind of boring. But he's, he's your base character. You can't hate him too much. Oh. Oh. There we go. Really? It's going to be one of those playthroughs. You're not going to get anything in the uh, in the first floor. Watch. Oh, jeez. I hate spiders. Oh, and they explode into spiders. It's the worst. I would Ed do this to me. It's like already two minutes into the game and, and I'm already suffering. You love to see it. That's why Ed made this game. It's just, just to suffer. Ooh, mystery bag. Always good stuff in here. Let's go. Keys and bombs. And a penny. Alright. Ooh, never mind. We're actually uh we're actually making pretty good progress on this one. Uh let's see. Let's see if there's any 
it hidden rocks, but I'm not seeing any. Half a heart, literally nothing. Oh, oh 15. Oh, yeah, good luck getting 15 coins on this floor. No way. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. Uh, why not? Okay, it wasn't worth it. What was... Oh no. Yeah, oh. This is literally it. What in the world? I was expecting a little more. Uh... Nothing. Try it here. There we go. Nothing. I mean, I doubt there's a hidden area here. Let's see. Yeah, I am not seeing any tinted rocks here. I am genuinely surprised. Is there one in here? I mean, may as well. Nothing. Alright, this isn't going to be a good playthrough, I can already tell. <laughs> can I bomb this? Ooh. You can, but it's not really worth it. Watch, as soon as I leave now, it's just like, hey, here's that... Here's that tinted rock you were looking for. Uh, this guy, this guy's easy. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, the spiders. You love to see it. Actually, never mind, this is actually gonna be a pain in the ass. Especially without a tear up or, you know, anything else. Like, all, all I'm really working with is, uh, is the common cold. Is poison. Which isn't bad. Poison's a really good stat. Oh my god. Okay, I'm legit gonna die on the first level now. Oh my god, I can't believe I died on the first level. <sighs> a basement gang. Basement gang. For reals. I hate it. I hate the basement so much. Oh my god. I got stuck on a rock. More like Cellar Gang. I hate the Cellar so much. It's... It's the worst. It's got the worst enemies. Spiders. And it gives you the least shit, too. Oh my god. Nice. Don't want to pick up any items just yet. Nah, not just yet. Uh, probably save the money up for this. Yeah, for the spiders are a pain. They manage to slip and hit the lock. Yeah. Oh my god! In this room, it's like, hey man, you want your you want your secret item? Go through all these big boys. But uh, be careful because those dudes in the back are gonna shoot you. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh. So you get a... Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. Eh, this is fine. Spider revenge. Yeah, like, I've, I never get anything good in the cellars. They're always the worst. No tinted rock. Okay. No tinted rock here. Nothing here. Amazing. You love to see it. Whatever, I'll just take this. And I'll take the key since it's on sale. Why not? I'm probably going to need it for the next room. This feels like one of those keyless runs anyways. And those are even the worst, when you go through like three floors without finding a single key. Oh my god, it's this dude again. Oh my god. And he already hit me.
This is why I don't play Isaac anymore. It's like, it's like play Isaac. You might, you might get a, you might get a really cool run with it, and it's just like, nah, you never do. I'd never get a decent Isaac run. The devil. All right, whatever. Let's get out of here. I should have used the devil in that room. We'll use it here. No way. That didn't do what I thought it did. Shit. I forgot that's not the room, or that's not the card that teleports you to the devil room. That's another card. Oh, man. I can't believe I'm doing two sellers back to back. I mean, they usually come in pairs, so I shouldn't, I literally should not be surprised. Yep. At least they don't explode on contact, or when they die. It's like, hey, you get a, you get a small chance to, uh, to run away before they throw out their bombs. It's always the worst. There we go. Anything good? Nope. Because why would there ever be anything good? Uh, I didn't do anything. Uh, please, Ed. Please, I hate this. But if you tell Ed that, he's just gonna make the sellers harder, or he's just, or he's just gonna turn the entire game into sellers, or he's just gonna make everything spiders. I can see it happening. Without a doubt, that would happen. This is literally going to be an itemless run. I can feel it. I can feel the items not coming this round. Like, it's, it's going to be a bad run. That last one was bad, but this one's going to be even worse. Because I'm actually going to make it very far, but I'm not going to have any items or upgrades. Okay, which way did I miss? Okay, that way. It's going to be one of those runs. Honestly, like, the, the amount of itemless runs that I get is way too big to, like, be normal. Like, I, I've seen people... <laughs> yeah, man, go for it. It's, it's a lot of fun. The suffering, it never ends. Don't you love it? You'll suffer and thank Ed for it. I've don't think I've ever seen this seen the razor blade before. Hopefully it's cool. It's sharp. Eh, maybe. It looks like it's just a item that just kind of protects you. You know what? I wonder if there is suffering builds character. <sighs> it do sometimes. But you know, sometimes I just want to have fun. <laughs> and then the game just tells you no. Knew it. Money, money, money. Oh. Is there anything in here? Darkness. Ten. There's literally nothing in here. What a shame. 
Well, hopefully this pill doesn't screw me over in the uh, in the boss room. But nine times out of ten, it usually does. All right. Shot speed down. Hell yeah. You love to see it. At least I do more damage while taking more hits. Hello, gonna lurk your stream while I study. Oh yeah, no, no, that's cool, man. You gotta and gotta get that brain big so you pass your co your classes. Okay, he's he's done now. Oh man, steroids? No, speed and range up. It's fine, I guess. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> there's literally nothing. This is literally gonna be the worst run. It's like what you had plans to unlock endings this stream. Game just slaps you and tells you no. Oh, thank God. Summon Monstro. I mean, there's literally worse items. Boing. What does that do? I don't think I've ever seen that item before. Oh, God. I freaking hate this one. Like, no matter what I do, I always get hit. Oh, no. This. It, it's just giving me all the... All the bad parts of the game right at the get-go. Amnesia. Oh, no. Uh, thanks for the heart. Right in the center. Oh god, it removed the map. Uh, of course it would. Why wouldn't it? Box within a box, and you only get a heart and a bomb? It's like, I guess I'll make do. <laughs> Stay away! I hate this. Why do I play this game? Because it's fun. Oh, thank you for the heart. Uh... Well more bombs means I get to experiment more I guess uh... okay that was a pretty good bomb oh no I've never seen them do that before uh... and then you get mr. bullet hell here Bomb flies. Oh god. Oh no. Kill him. Jeez. It's nothing but bombs. Uh, whatever. Bomb this one too. Get him! You stupid spiders! Oh, this is gonna be an awful run. <laughs> it's like what, you thought you were gonna have fun? Uh oh, stinky. Oh no. I mean, it's not a bad item, I actually like it. It, you know, it 
it stuns a lot of them for for most of the time. You wanna you wanna come out, little poop bomb? Oh, of course. Whatever, it's fine. I wasn't gonna use that anyways. Uh, money? Oh no. I didn't want to blow up the donation machine. Eh, it's fine. There you go. Confuses them for a split second, it ain't bad. Clears out a room too. Or it makes it easier to clear out a room. Uh, yeah, that's literally it. Yeah. These guys are... I hate these guys, too. Oh my god, he just tracks me. At least I'm throwing out a lot of bombs on this one, so that's good. It's like, every time you throw on Binding of Isaac and you're just like, Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a fun time with Isaac today. And then you... You never do. It's always the worst. It's terrible. Oh no, seller two, gee. Ah, uh. <laughs> uh, why? Why is this game like this? It's like just trying to have a good time, have a good game. Oh yeah, I guess I should uh, talk about the schedule a little bit. Uh, if you saw it, uh, Monday, Monday I'm not doing a stream. Oh my god, he just hops at you. Uh, Monday there isn't going to be a stream. Uh, I got to do a lot of stuff, uh, especially work in the garden. Uh, or get the, finish getting the garden set up. Because I actually haven't touched the, or finished it since like the last time that I showed it on stream. Um... So I gotta, I gotta get that all done and sorted out. Um, and then I also gotta get the orange tree that we've ha that we have planted no soon. Problem. Yeah, and then I also gotta get the orange tree planted. I was gonna do it today because it's actually like nice and warm outside today, but uh, I like as, as I was sitting there and I was like, huh, I should, uh, I should plant this today. And I didn't. <laughs> well, it's not that I didn't. It was just... Uh... Range up, finally. Uh... Oh my god. Why did I do that? It was not worth it. Actually, it was worth it. Um... I was looking at my orange tree. And I was like, oh, you know what? I, I need to plant this today. It's looking really good. I got, I got, a, good, uh, I got a good feeling about it this year. And uh, as I was thinking that... I uh, I ended up putting water in the pot, and just not not that it's a bad thing. It just makes it harder to uh, it just makes it harder to plant because you you got to deal with the wet soil now. You got to deal with wet that soil. Pretty cool. I'm looking to start growing peppers in the spring. Oh yeah. Uh, if you missed my gardening stream uh it's up on my youtube it's it's on my main youtube now uh i've decided to start putting uh my zatsudans on the main channel now uh rather than it just being like edited content uh the zatsudans are also going to be on there as well um 
not not my gameplay streams. Uh, my gameplay streams are gonna go on a entire go go on the archive channel. But uh, I feel like my Zatsu Dance have enough content in them to make them worthwhile. Uh, to to put on my edited channel because I, I feel like there's a lot of information in there that I that I feel could reach a lot more people. Uh, I wasted all my keys and I can't get the item now. Uh, why did I do this? Okay. What are the odds there's a key in one of these? Zero. Uh, ruined everything. But yeah, so there, there's not going to be a stream on Monday, Monday night, because uh, like I said, I'm going to be mainly working in the, working, working the garden and stuff like that. Uh, Wednesday I had it written down for Yu-Gi-Oh, but honestly, considering how bad I lost, I may end up skipping it. <laughs> uh, I may end up doing something else that day. Uh, it just depends. But, uh, I mean, I, I like Yu-Gi-Oh! It's just, I, I can't stand a lot of the, the meta play. Uh, I, I like to just play it casually. And I, I don't like waiting for my opponent to spend, like, eight minutes doing his turn. Like, it, it's kind of why I like Duel Links a lot better. Because it's, it's a lot faster. It's a lot faster paced. And uh, that, that's what I really like about it. I'm not taking a hit for any of this. But yeah, so uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! may be on the table. And then Friday is going to be Damon X Machina. And then, I forgot what I wrote down for Sunday. <laughs> did I write anything down for Sunday? I'm pretty sure I did. Let me see. Like, why am I blanking out on Sunday? I always blank out on Sunday the most. And I don't know why. Oh, that's right. It was uh, bullet bullet hells and shoot 'em ups is uh, what I'm going to do, uh, do that day. Because uh, I, I want to get around to a 1C scene, like, at least one of them. At least, like, once is what I want to do. So, hoping to play through a few of them. Oh my god, what hit me? Oh, this stupid fly. Uh, so I'm hoping to... Gondor? <laughs> What's going on, Nate? Yeah, I know you do. But, uh, can, can love between a skeleton and a gondola ever bloom? On the battlefield? Of Binding of Isaac. It must. <laughs> it must. I don't know. Feels, uh... Feels, uh... I don't know. Wrong? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that hit me. I'm doing good today. How you be my fellow and how individual? I'm doing pretty good. Just uh, suffering and binding of Isaac. This is honestly the most suffering I've ever had in binding of Isaac. Like, I've gotten three runs with literally nothing. Oop. Let go. Yep. They lurk inside. <laughs> no, this is not going to be a personal best. Yo, that's a neat item. Oh, is it? Sweet. Yeah, no, nah, the, the, this is not a person. Oh, yeah, no, nah, oh, yeah, no, nah, that, that, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's this one. I think I have had this one before. It just, like, spawns people all the time. Yeah, that one is a good one. I do like that one. The sun. Why not? Infected. Let's go, baby. Uh, what, I got 35? Nah, I'm good on money. I'm good on money for now. Until I find the other store. Oh. Gondor is rich. <laughs> uh, I wish. 
Come on, open up. There we go. Oh. Easy. But yeah, um... Oh my god, I can't believe... I can't believe I was so close to that. I see you got the number two poop diaper. Yeah, I did. I, I picked it up. Key. Of course I don't have a key. All this money and no key. Uh, the, the poops have been coming a lot more... A, a blessing and a curse indeed. Nah, not that one. You know what? I may take that one. Let, let me go ahead and use the sun now. And then I'll save this one for a boss fight. Let's go. Pills. Oh no. Pills, Pog. Oh no. Shot speed up. Whatever. It's fine. This is fine. As the building burns around me. Oh no. Easy. Oh no, I hate these rooms. I wish I was playing as Azel. Really? Nothing? Uh, oh wait, there is something. No wait, I think I've already been in there. Yeah, he do be. Uh, no, there's a few rooms that I missed back there. So let me go do those before I come back here. Maybe I'll find a key, and then I can spend this money. Probably not. <laughs> this is going to be a keyless run. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this one. Oh yeah, these guys are awesome. They just farm. They they just bring out so many of my little buddies here. Oh no, I can't keep track of what's what. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Tower infested okay that wasn't worth it <laughs> oh wait heart okay let's get out of here now there's clearly a nothing value here oh I almost I almost just ran right into it Oh, uh, I was going to mention something about the model. Um, I, I guess kind of like if you're wondering also why I'm not using the the new uh, art, you know, at least as a reactive thing to just kind of show it off some more. Um, I'm mainly, it's mainly because I didn't get it reactive yet. Um, I want to, uh, I want to spend tomorrow as well working on it. Uh, working on making it a bit more reactive. Um, so I'm, I'm going to edit, uh, you know, open mouth, op uh, open mouth, open eyes, uh, stuff like that. Speed up, sweet. Speedy boy. Um, so I'm, I'm going to spend some time tomorrow getting all that stuff edited in. Uh, j just to make it a little bit more worth it. Rather, so that way it's not just, you know, uh, lighting up and uh dimming thing kind of like how i have with the uh the slime dilla give me a second yeah kind of like how i how i did with the slime dilla like it it has an open mouth and a closed mouth state and it has blinking uh neapolitan drew this for me but uh it wasn't it, it was literally just like like that um Cookie gondo. it's an ice cream sora it's just chocolate chip flavored ice cream slime. But, uh, 
she she's an amazing artist um i'm pretty sure she's still doing commissions for them on her co coffee uh so if you look her up you can you can definitely find her her coffee and uh i want to say it was like five dollars yeah it was five dollars and uh honestly it's i i like it a lot um because i i was able to do this with it uh hold on wait let me move this out of the way Neat. what was her name uh neapolitan uh give me a second i'll, I'll bring up her her uh her twitter for y'all guys so that way y'all can follow her and uh if you ever want a commission from her or you know an uh, ice cream slime commission uh me uh so it's basically like Neapolitan ice cream, but with the with a A N N E at the end of it, like Anne. But yeah, yeah, no problem. Right, sorry, uh, artists that I'm working with for the uh, for the other piece of uh, the upcoming lore change, I guess, is uh, we're just uh, sorting some stuff out right now. Too, I don't, I don't like leaving artists hanging like that for a long time. Uh, it's not. Oh wait, that's that's right. I was going to show you all this. Uh, let me move this out of the way. So uh, with the, I, I was able to do, yeah, um, I, I don't like leaving artists uh, hanging like that, like hanging too long because I, I know they got more important things to be doing. And uh, I, I like to try to keep, you know, when, when I'm working with an artist, I, I try to keep my messages like short and simple and to the point. Uh, I try not to come off as rude, but uh, it, it, it can kind of be seen that way. But it's it's also kind of like how I'm used to talking, at least on the radio or in like communications when I was in the military. It was always keep it like short, simple and to the point. So I, I try to keep it that way with artists, too. But uh, I still try to show them the respect. After all, they they are doing my art for me. So I I want them to also do it right. And, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, with the when, when she did the little ice cream slime, I was able to do a little group photo with uh, the gondola and the little ice cream and the little gondoka that I made uh, that I drew for Lovell. Yeah, Lovell. She's uh, she's also another VTuber. She's really cool. Well, this is cool. Yeah. Uh, my artist that did the gondola uh, model, uh, Ino, Ino, Inoue, Inoue Celeste. I can't say, I can never say the first part of her name. Celeste. Uh, I'll go ahead and link her too. Give me a minute. She did the uh, she did the art and rigging for my gondola model. Inoy Celeste. Yeah. Uh, she she did the art and the rigging for my gondola model, and she also drew this piece uh, that I commissioned. So uh, it was a uh, it was pretty cool. I I, I like this a lot, but uh, now that I had this, I was like, you know what? I I can do a little group photo thing here. So uh, that's what I started doing. Uh, basically, any any art that I get of gondola, I'm gonna try to fit into this thing right here. But uh, let's get back to the game. Okay, well, oh yeah, that's right. I, I just beat the boss. I don't even remember what the boss was. I'm so forgettable. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I care about my artists. I uh, I try not to push them too hard. I usually just like, hey, uh, I, I, honestly, like if I haven't heard anything from them for like two weeks, that's usually when I I start asking, like, hey, uh, it's been about two weeks. Uh, anything, anything new or anything like that? Like if you're busy with other stuff, I I get it. But, uh, you know. Oh my god, this stupid worm. Oh, why am I hitting... Why am I trying to shoot that thing? It's my buddy. 
Yeah, yeah, I've, I've seen it a lot. I, I hate to see it too. Uh, you know what? Whatever. <laughs> hey, sometimes you do gotta harass them. I feel like I'm just wasting money here. Yeah, I was literally just wasting money. Oh my god, a key, finally. No, wait. The Magician? Destruction. Here we go. We'll need this one. I mean, like, I don't I don't want to say harassment, because that's, that's a bad thing, but, like, sometimes you do need to rein your artists in. Uh, but, you know, there, there, there's many a ways to do it without, you know, harassing them, like you see on Twitter. I'm literally going to freaking die. Like there, there, there's many a. <laughs> hey, what's up, Woozle? But uh, yeah, you know how it goes. They'll learn eventually. But uh, honestly, there there are some artists that I see that are that I, I don't like their policies. Uh, sometimes um, I've I've seen artists with like, very, uh. I guess they're like very anal retentive about how their stuff is where it's just like don't repost this and don't reshare this anywhere and it's just like why just figuring out what to do with the rest of my day ah uh, okay okay that's cool uh i suggest reading a book i like reading uh i haven't read in about a week and a half now i i really need to get back to it oh here we go reading is for nerds, reading is for nerds. Says the guy that reads chat on his streams. Some <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, jeez. Alright, I'm not playing as Isaac. I hate this. <laughs> I hate playing as Isaac. F. F indeed. We're going with my boy Azazel. Oh my god, Burning Play Basement. <laughs> I like Kane. Kane? Do it, broski. Do not give up. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What real likes are. <laughs> I'm sorry, Woozle. I'm just a filthy casual. I actually don't know any uh, roguelikes. Like, real ones, I guess. This is all I know. This and Dead Cells. I've, I keep blowing up the donation Just box. Play Rogue. It's on Steam. Just play Rogue? Huh, never heard of it. Uh, I'm going to come back for this chest. Uh, once I complete the level. Oh wait, I was like, I don't have to... I don't have to bomb stuff. I can just fly over it. What's wrong with me? hoo hoo hoo. There we go. My boy Azazel putting in work now. There we go. Easy. Uh, oh my god, I don't know how I managed to dodge any of that right there. Okay, this is good. This is good money. Uh, we're gonna go buy that chest. Any tinted rocks? Not that I'm seeing. Sorry, but I gotta steal from the from the donation box. And we're gonna buy this. I don't know what it does. Hmm. I probably should have used it on the boss. It just looked cool. I thought it was gonna be like a random chest you can open up that'd give you like some stuff every now and then. Hey, famine. He ain't too bad. Is uh, Project Zomboid a roguelike? Or a rogue game? I guess it can be if you... Is bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't care much for Project Zomboid anymore. I used to play it a lot with friends, and it was, it was fun then, but... Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know how it is now. I, I played a little bit of it on stream, and I didn't really enjoy it all that much. It was it was worse. It 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 felt a lot worse than normally. And then I also didn't like how the developer is just like being an asshole through the whole tutorial. It's like, bro, you, you don't need to be an asshole for the tutorial. Well, it's not turn based, but it is procedurally generated with starvation mechanics. No real dungeon or win condition, so I'd call it a roguelite. <laughs> oh my god. I hate when they do that. Came off as someone being shitty for shittiness sake. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's like someone that's trying to be an asshole but isn't very good at being an asshole. If I had a buddy who really liked Zomboid, did they mess up the game in patches and updates? Yeah, that that's what uh that's what my friends were telling me. Uh the ones that I used to play it with uh quite a bit back then. And they were like, yeah, like just the the whole game's messed up now. And apparently they they messed up the multiplayer at some point, and the the dev got really mad when people fixed the multiplayer themselves. And I was like, ugh, like <laughs> that's a uh, that's pretty messed up. Oh my god, why is everything so sporadic here? The emperor, let's go. Tears and faith. Yeah, that, that that's what that's what my buddies were telling me. I don't know if it's true because I never looked into it, but considering like how he's acted in the past, especially with uh, um, when he had his laptop stolen that had the original uh, build of the game on it, and how he just like completely shut everything down and then just like came back and started working on it, and then it, I I remember back when. When was the game first coming out? Like back in 2015, he was a he was a real asshole about it, about the whole thing. And uh, every time he looked at his Twitter, he was kind of like throwing a throwing a fit about something. Uh, so that that kind of turned me off from the game. But uh, we ended up just getting it, and I mean it's it's a fun game, it, or at least it was fun uh, when we were playing. But. Uh, no, I don't know. I I don't think I want to give him money for the game. Um, me me and my buddies that played it, we have a GOG account that we share games on, and uh, we just one one person bought it on there, and we just we just shared the game. But uh, I considered buying my own copy at some point, but uh, I'm glad I never did. I have a bunch of health here and I do not know how that Before happened. Game, played it for an hour and a half, discovered it was the Sims that had zombies promptly refunded it. <laughs> the Sims. Hey, the Sims is fun. If you play it as a uh as a saw simulator. <laughs> well yeah, we'll go ahead and take that. It's fine. I remember looking at a. Uh, or like old uh, sim stories where people would talk about turning their houses into like death traps like built purely to like torture sims i was like huh that sounds fun but uh, i never i never did it maybe i'll do it maybe i'll do it on stream one day i do have the sims 2 on uh on my origins account because i'm pretty sure i got it for free Tell me how to make barrack chairs, and I couldn't figure it out. I would have at least tried making zombie grinders. Yeah. Uh, I like Seven Days to Die as my. The Art Goblin Green Text. The Art Goblin Green Text. <laughs> I don't think I've. I don't think I know that one. Uh, the, one of the ones that I was thinking of was the guy that uh, that gave himself the the mega chin, and uh, ended up burning like his his like crush and his best friend alive in like their apartment or something like that or in their house and uh or he, he ended up killing like his crush somehow seven days to die is bad too in different ways but at least i can have a lot of fun with it especially in multiplayer yeah 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 and uh, yeah so seven days to die is is some jank stuff but uh, I I still like it. Me and uh, me and another VTuber used to play it a lot. We never played it on stream. Oh my god! Oh my god! 
Uh, we, we never played it on stream, but uh, we did uh, we did play it offline a lot. Yeah, we, we, we played it offline a lot, and uh, it was a lot of fun up until uh, up until uh, the guy that ran the server stopped hanging out with us, and that kind of sucked. Oh my god. This dude. Why is this guy so fast? Finally. Jeez. Stuff. I like stuff. Uh, challenge me. Yeah, this one. I don't know what's okay. Luck up, range down. Let's go. You love to have range down with uh, with this dude. I'm gonna DM you a rogue like good for newbies called Brogue. Rogue? Oh yeah. Uh, I I thought you mentioned that one. Yeah, yeah that that's that's one that I was gonna look up later. Yeah, I'm not taking any of this. Bro, rogue. <laughs> uh, now nah, I'm gonna save the Hierophant. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save Hierophant Green, the JoJo stand. I can't believe that was only the second level. I felt like I was on the third. I already felt like I was halfway done. And the learning curve is much kinder than other roguelikes, plus it looks great for text-only graphics. Ah, okay. Inscription is pretty fun, but it's not exactly a rude like all the way through. Yeah, uh, I, I remember seeing a lot of people playing in... Uh, what is it? Inscription? Yeah, Inscription. I was gonna say Inception. I was like, no, that's the movie. Uh, I considered getting it, but... I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah, I remember watching Bodega Rat play it a lot. Uh, I think she was the only real, or not real, but the, the only one that I really watched uh, play it. Other than uh, my artist, who was also streaming it, but uh, my artist tends to stream at uh, odd times. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is on sale right now with the, uh, with what is it, the Lunar Cell or whatever that they got going on now? I had so much health, and I've lost it all. I need, like, actual red hearts. Yeah, 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 that's what it is. Uh, I was looking through it, but I didn't really see anything that I wanted to pick up. But I don't think I need to pick up anything else. Um, I got I got plenty oh, yeah. of games. I checked out the sale. Yeah, I got, I got plenty of games during the... Uh, during the winter sale. I don't need to pick up any more. I have more than enough stream content. True. Same. I got like 523 games on the Steam account. It's ridiculous. I I shouldn't own that many games, but I do. The wig. It feels itchy. I forget what it does exactly. Honestly, I just want to stream my backlog now. <laughs> uh, the, don't we all? Do I? Yeah, why not? Spawns blue spiders intermittently. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Right? Backlog and Andy. <laughs> Uh, I, I try not to do a lot of backlog stuff, uh, mainly because I, I don't know how it'll turn out with just me playing a game that I don't really know a lot about. Uh, I mean, I, I've done, like, a few games that I've completed on stream. Uh, like, uh, Metroid Dread. Um, what's another one? I, I honestly can't remember another game that I would have considered backlogged. Uh, Metro Dread's the only one that really comes to mind. Come on. Open up. Oh my god. Oh, finally a black heart. Um, 
But yeah, I, I would say I, I know I've done a few of them, uh, just not a lot. Um, I mainly like playing games that I've already played through, just because I, I tend to have a little bit more insight on that stuff. Uh, like when I was playing Bayonetta 2 and uh, Devil May Cry, I felt that was a really good stream, just because it's uh, they're they're games that I've played before and I I, I know a lot about you know the making of Devil May Cry and all that stuff because it's one of my favorite game series uh speaking of which i may end up doing uh the entire devil may cry series excluding dmc devil may cry uh because i don't own that one uh maybe in february but uh i gotta find out if my ps4 works now because uh i have the hd collection but i only have it on ps4 i should have picked it up on steam but uh i never did oh my god and i don't want to pick up Devil May Cry 3 again because I already have one, two, three, four copies of that game. Hold on. One, two, three, four copies. Yeah, I, I have four copies of that game. I have two on PS2, one on the PS4, and one on the Switch now. How? <laughs> because Devil May Cry, I have the initial release of Devil May Cry 3. Which was the original release, uh, the one that came back in, came out originally in like 2004. And then people complained about normal difficulty being way too hard. No, 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 that's cool, dude. I, I know the joys of getting a new desk. It's amazing. Uh, but the original ver the original copy of Devil May Cry 3 that we got... People complained about the normal difficulty being way too hard, and they were right to complain about that, because normal in the US was hard in Japan. Uh, so we got the Japanese version of hard difficulty for uh, DMC3, and then... Uh, so after a while they released the special edition, yeah, so... Uh, uh, I want to say a year, maybe two years later, they released the special edition of Devil May Cry 3, which had Virgil as a playable character and uh, a much easier normal difficulty setting. Uh, I never beat it. I, pl I mainly got it just so that way I could play as Virgil. And that was literally what I did. Because not all of your... Because um... the, the only thing that transferred from Devil May Cry 3 three to special edition was just if you had a completed save file or if you just had a save file in general you would unlock virgil instantly so i would just use the special edition to play double make or to play virgil because uh i didn't want to go through and unlock everything all over again for dante uh but also because i was already used to playing on normal difficulty uh and then after that I ended up picking up Devil May Cry the HD collection on the PS4. So I have that version of Devil May Cry 3 as well, which is, I guess, considered the HD version. And then I ended up picking up Devil May Cry 3 on the Switch, because I was like, I, I need Devil May Cry portable now. So that's, that's why I own four copies of Devil May Cry 3. <laughs> it's a good game. It's, it's legit my favorite game. Oh my god, this is going to be a pain in the ass. But, uh, it's a good game. Uh, legit one of my favorite ones. Uh, the, the game only exists because uh, Itsuno did not want to be known as the guy that made Devil May Cry 2. So uh, that's the only reason Devil May Cry 3 exists and why it did so well uh, to warrant Devil May Cry 4. <laughs> um, unfortunately, Devil May Cry 4 was uh, greatly cut down because Capcom wanted more with less. So uh, they they ended up cutting the development time of Devil May Cry 4 like basically in half. Uh, I want to say it was... What was it? I want to say it was supposed to be like a four-year... 
a six year project that ended up being like three years. They ended up spending three years working on a six year, what was supposed to be a six year project, I think. Uh, I got to look back at it, um, but you can easily tell uh, there was supposed to be. Yeah, there, there, there are still going to be the 20 missions. The only difference was was that Nero's missions were going to be very different than Dante's missions. Uh, Dante's missions ended up being just uh, backtracking through all of Nero's missions, going all the way back to the beginning of the game. Uh, Nero was also supposed to have his own weapons. And uh, there was supposed to be a lot more going on. Uh, there, there was going to be like more, more of the story. But uh, like I said, Capcom cut to their development cut the development time in half and uh it just suffered greatly from it um which really sucked because uh oh my god that actually hit me uh because De devil may cry 4 is actually a pretty decent game uh even though i hate nero in that game a lot um come on there we go but yeah and then to, to make matters worse, Capcom was expecting Call of Duty numbers with Devil May Cry. And it's just like, you're, you're not going to get Call of Duty numbers with Devil May Cry. Uh, De Devil May Cry is already a niche in itself, and you, you want Call of Duty numbers. Uh, nah, forget that, Capcom. You're, you're not getting it. Capcom hate indeed. And then... Uh, and then we ended up getting DMC Devil May Cry, um, which was honestly the biggest mistake ever. Uh, it was, it was a very, very big mistake that Capcom greatly fucked up. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, um, oh man, like the, the. I don't know, like, how much... Yep. I don't know, like, how, if everyone else knows, like, the exact history and the crazy stuff that happened with DMC. Uh, I, I actually have a whole video on it. it it's like a 40-minute video that I put up on uh, the main channel. Uh, on my main channel. And it, it just... I, I, I went into, like, the entire history of DMC from like the original trailer that dropped uh, to the original storyline that DMC was supposed to be about um, the and how what was it Team Ninja is it Team Ninja or Ninja Theory I always get those two mixed up and someone needs to change their name and but uh, the the team that was working on DMC Devil May Cry they wanted it to be more closely resemblant Ninja Theory, there you go. Um, they wanted it to be more similar to Capcom, or, you know, to, to Classic Devil May Cry. But uh, Capcom was really pushing them to be very different. So a lot of it also came from Capcom's, uh, you know, of trying to be more different from the original series. Um, you know, there, there is still blame to put on Ninja Theory. Uh, for the way that they handled their PR and their marketing of the game. Uh, but Capcom is also equally to blame for uh, forcing, forcing them to, to go in a direction that they didn't really want to go. Because there, there were like concept arts where Dante lo did look very similar to uh, you know, our original Dante. Uh, especially with the white hair and the, the red coat. But uh, Capcom was really pushing them to be uh, very different. And, uh, you know, I, I, I guess that, that type of direction also led to a hindrance. Or led, led to, you know, a lot of bad decisions. With, uh, oh hell yeah, Nose Goblin. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate it. But yeah, there 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 was a lot of a lot of crazy stuff that happened with that game or with that series in general. Um especially down to the presentation 
where they compared Dante to uh, the gay cowboy in uh, Brokeback Mountain. It was just like, oof, dude, you can't be doing that. But then again, it was like, what? It was 2012? Oh my god, why is this guy so sporadic? It was like, what, 2012, where like the internet was like vastly different than what it is now? Crazy stuff. Oh my god, Greed. Why are you here? I'm just trying to spend my money, and you show up. It's like, hey, you got a, uh, you got like, a lot of money. You want to come spend it at the shop? Yes. And then they just, they give you a boss fight instead. But you know what? We can go to the arcade. Which uh, I do not want to spend money on. Yeah, nah. Okay, I think I can get out of here. Yeah. Uh, what's the fool? Nah. There's no way saving this pill for the boss fight will screw me over. Um, what else was going on with DMC? Eh, that was about it. Um, like I said, I, I I go into way more depth in uh in the video. Um. I should have used this. Actually, I should have saved this for the next one. But I didn't think it was going to be that. Oh my god. Don't hurt me. Okay, easy fight. Steroids? Synth oil. Let's go. Finally, some range up for this guy. Um, I, I, I even went into, like, the sales numbers and, uh, the campaigns that, <laughs> that fans organized to severely gimp the sales of DMC. Uh, I haven't seen anything done like that yet, like, since then, honestly. Uh, I, what, Consumer Revolution, I guess? Like, legit works. <laughs> and I'm surprised I haven't seen it done for anything else. But I guess uh, Devil May Cry fans are, are super hardcore. I mean, I, I know I am. Uh, I didn't partake in any of the uh, the consumer protests for DMC. Uh, one of the protests that they had was... I want to say the... Eight, no, no, the, the Devil May Cry HD trilogy came out like a year before DMC Devil May Cry. Uh, so when DMC Devil May Cry came out, they... Uh, there was a fan, there was a campaign, a fan campaign, to boost the sales of of the HD trilogy to show Capcom that they still wanted more of the classic stuff, and uh, for a good week, maybe two weeks, um, DMC or De Devil May Cry HD was like at the top of the Amazon charts for for a good while. Oh my God, I keep getting hit. This isn't gonna end well. Um, so it was, it was pretty cool to see. Um, and then, like, anytime there was ever, like, a re-release of DMC Devil May Cry, it was just always, like, go buy, go buy this one. Go, go buy the original Devil May Cry. Uh, that's actually what happened with Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition and DMC Definitive Edition was, uh, they, they were both released very, very close to each other. So, uh, when it came down to it, people went out and bought the, like, everyone knew what it was. It was, uh, it was to judge, what is this? The hoof. Uh, everyone knew what it was. It was, uh, it was to judge whether or not which would be, which series would continue on. And, uh, everyone went out and bought Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition, and I, I did buy that one. Uh, I bought it on the PS4, and... Lo and behold, we get Devil May Cry 5, which is probably the best in the series. Oh my god, it tricked me. Here I am thinking I'm being smooth, and the game's just like, ha, nah, you ain't slick. Uh, I'm legit gonna die on this run. It's like, ha, you had plans for two endings you're not gonna get them
Oh my god. Azazel betrays me. Uh, hold up. Got a DM from Artist again. Give me a second. Oh no. It's just... It's Woozle. Oh, here it is. Ro oh, Brogue. Oh, this does look pretty neat. Uh, I've never actually played like one of these uh one of these text games before or not text but you know uh text to graphics I guess I never played one before uh there was that one Cataclysm was it Cataclysm Days Ahead or something like that uh that one of my buddies used to play a lot and he tried to get me to play it but it was just like bro there, there's no graphics here like how do you expect me to play this and he's just like just play it Cataclysm, dude dark days ahead. yeah. And I was like, bro, there's no graphics. How how do you play this? And he's just like, you read the Matrix. And I was like, I'm not reading the Matrix. But uh, it like all, all all the stories that he that he told about that game just sounded so fun. He's like, yeah, I got a. Uh, he's like, I got in a car and I ran over a bunch of mutants and then all this other stuff. And I was like, huh, that actually does sound pretty neat, dude. But I I never got around to playing it, unfortunate. I mean, I could still play it. Isn't it a free game? I feel like it is. I'm sorry, Moriko. Yeah, it's free. Ah, hell yeah. Well, maybe, maybe I'll give it a shot again. My my taste in video games have matured since then. Please be something good. To both. Oh my god. The... Hey, boss. hey, mailbox, what's going on, dude? Good to see you again. Oh, please be something flamboyant protector. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I ain't seen you in a while, dude. Still uh still surviving out there. I hope. <laughs> Not a lot waiting to go to work. You. Cursed. Ah, uh, you know, just chilling, playing games. Define surviving all. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming you're doing okay. Oh shit! Okay, I'm just, I'm literally gonna cheese this fight because I have like one HP. How you can't hit me on the rocks. So far, so good. Realizing the dry climate has killed my nose. Oh yeah, dude. That'll that'll happen to you. Uh, it happened to me in Colorado. Uh, when I first got there, I was just like, I was like, ah, this this air is so fresh up here. And then after a while, my nose just started drying out because of, you know, how dry it is. This is just health up. Let's go, baby. Something's wrong. Oh no. I can see forever. Here we go. Let's see. Any oh my god, there's no hidden rooms. Oh wait, there they are. There they are. But yeah, uh Dry dry clients will, will really mess up your, your sinuses if uh I don't know why I picked this up. Eh, whatever, it'll save me from like a hit later on. Because I know I'm gonna get hit in this room. Actually, in the boss rooms over there. Yeah, so I was just like, uh, whatever, it's fine. But yeah, uh, dry climate will also uh, mess up your throat too. Is there not a. It's only when I wake up, though. Uh, only when you wake up? Uh, yeah, because I, I remember. What do we got here? have to buy a humidifier. Yeah, that's uh that's something that I needed when I was in Colorado. Oh my god. Why did I come through there? They make small humidifiers you can keep by your bed and run at night. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. I have one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh I I should have used one when I lived in Colorado. Is there not a cash shop here? What the hell? Or a store? Why do I keep saying cash shop? But uh, yeah, I, I I wish I got one when I was living in Colorado. I really needed one. 
because uh, I would wake up with like the driest nose. I saw one at the store earlier. Might get it. Nice, nice. Riders here. See you all later. All right. Yeah, no man. Uh, I'll catch you around. Good seeing you. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, jeez. What is this? Oh, man. Oh, this is an XL dungeon. I didn't even... I wasn't even paying attention to that. I was like, why is this dungeon so big? There we go. It's an XL. But it because it's an XL, that means that there's two treasures here. So that's uh that's good. Okay, I just gotta I gotta take it slow and easy. So I can reap the rewards. Oh jeez. Here we go. Oh no, spiders. Bills here. Bombs. Uh, ah, I didn't I wasted a key. Explosive diarrhea. You love to see it. Tears up. Let's go. I think tears up. Oh god, jeez. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh, where's the shop? Oh god, treasure. No wait, I gotta blow that up. Okay, let's see. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's go for the treasure first. I don't remember what that is. I think that's a damage up. Watch your back. Oh no. What could it mean? Uh, this is the worst shop ever. May as well save my money. Oh my god, what was that? It's just like, let me just teleport through like three rocks to hit you and bite your face off. Uh, they're just surrounding me. Double damage and bleeding when you shoot enemies in the back. Ah, uh, that's what it was. I could really use ah. Uh, I'm not touching that. I'm glad I didn't touch that. I'm glad I missed that, actually. But it's like there could be so many cool things in there. Uh, I'll come back to that one later. Wait, I thought XLs did have double... Oh yeah, they do have double treasure rooms. Oof. easy all right i think that's everything let's see unless there's something here which i don't think there is oh shit cbda has tiles now uh what do you mean by tiles like it, it it has like proper like placements or something like that i'm assuming oh no i don't want the hoof like it has sprite. oh sprites okay 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 Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, is there another way around? Nope, it's literally just take your chances. Uh, you know what? What can you give me? I'll trade you a key. Uh, please be good. A rock. There's something inside of it. Crystal skull. 
All right, let's just get out of here. Uh. Oh man, at least. Oh my god, I literally walked right into it. At least this little fly is like really good. Oh my god, I walked right into it. Uh, I gotta stop doing that. Oh no, th there's a double boss. <laughs> there's no way that I'm gonna survive this one. Okay, I just gotta get this heart. Little fly, you were supposed to... S spider, why are you not doing anything? Go do your job. Spoon. Awesome. Ah, uh, no. There's no way I do this with only two hearts. Yeah, there's no way I pull this off on two. What... What a shitty room to get an or a shitty dungeon to get XL on. Uh, give me a second. I need some water. I may also have to run downstairs and grab some more water soon. I uh I forgot to check on my gallon. Uh, you know what, if you guys will excuse me, I'm going to head downstairs real quick to grab some water, to grab another water. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, It'd be about like a minute. Ugh, controller disconnected. I'll be right back, though.
that much. But uh, I was looking for my other water jug, and I was like, where is this thing? And then I realized I left it in the car. So I had to grab my keys and then run downstairs and look for it, or look for my keys, and then go out to the car and grab it. So that's what took me so long. Oh, man. All right. Honestly, I don't think there are going to be any Indians unlocked in this one. This is a... Uh... This is looking mighty difficult right now. I mean, that's, that's how it always is, though. You get uh, uh you just you get, you get those runs where literally, like the game just works against you. We're gonna do a greed mode. I haven't done a greed mode in a while, actually. Uh, I've only done one greed mode, actually. No, I I've completed one greed mode. Uh, yeah, I've only completed one greed mode. Uh, I may save that. Yeah, I'm going to save that one. I'm going to save that. And let's see. Half a heart. Sweet. Giant spiders and flies. Let's go. And with this, we're going to go ahead and open up the, the treasure room. Hey, intensifying tears. Uh, probably probably not the best for Azazel. Uh, let's see. What are we working with? A lot of good stuff. Nothing really bad. Hold on. Yeah, I don't have any coins. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Where did you come from? Jeez. Uh, come on, stop moving! Oh my lord. So I don't exactly know how greed mode works. I know it's kind of like a survival thing, like a wave-based thing. But uh, I honestly don't... Oh my god. I lost a health. Okay. Let's see. PhD may be good. Uh, I don't know what that is. I may grab it anyways, just because... Yeah, I'm gonna grab it anyways. Ooh, range. Here we go. Uh, yeah, we're just... We'll head on back. Nothing new, I'm assuming. You know what? We're going to go ahead and take it. H play. Oh, there we go. This is good. At least I got some form of health that can be replenished. Uh, 
Okay, easy. Oh no, a second one! Oh my god. Why are they so fast? Ooh, do I hit it again? Nah, I'm gonna move on. 12. Eh. I'll buy the mode is particularly difficult for those who aren't super experienced. Uh, the survival section of timed waves of enemies with your only reward being money. Yeah. The upsides are that you get 100% level angel deal chances at the cost of an extra wave plus one free. Hmm. Yeah, I know about angel deals. I've uh, I've ran into a few a uh, few angel rooms. Uh, let's go. Uh oh, stinky. Ooh, ha ha. Oh yeah, this this will be amazing for for this. Let's see. Nada. Twenty. Uh, I may end up taking that razor you know about angel deals. You can get 100% angel deal on second floor in greed mode by doing the devil deal challenge on first floor and not entering it. Ah, uh, okay, I didn't do it then. I should, I guess I should have done it, but eh, it's fine. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to save my money. I'll save my money up. You know what? Let's, uh... Ooh, here we go. I'm going to grab the eye. Also, you should use number two's free bombs to look for secret rumor and blow up shopkeepers uh, for free. Yeah, you are right about that. I should have done that. Oh, these dudes. Quit playing. Number two is actually really strong in greed mode since the butt bombs do room wide damage. Yeah. Room wide damage and then paralyzes them for like a split second. Oh, what hit me? Oh, he was invisible. Oh my god. Another, there we go. Oh, man. Oh, he was in the air when it happened. Okay. Come on. Poop. Poop a little. Let's go. Now you need to. Uh, is there anything here that's worth getting? Maybe the heart? Yeah, we'll grab the heart. I'm gonna need it. Ugh. It's literally not going to. Watch, I'm gonna leave and then come back. Oh, wait. Let's let this one explode. Okay. Oh, come on. No, you need a poop. Oh, God, it's not going to poop. It's like, nah, can't poop on command. Oh, uh, there it goes. What does the spoon do again? Is the spoon speeding up? I think it is. Yeah, I think the spoon speeds you up. Uh, I don't need that. You know what? We're just going to grab this. Whatever it does. Speed, you IP, yeah. Yeah. Sprinkler is godly in greed mode. Oh my god, I got hit by that. Oh, uh, it's a boss, I forgot. Almost a win condition. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, 
Well, I ain't gonna win it. Okay, I won it somehow. And then need this heart. And then... Screw it, I'll take the key. Ooh. New Chivo. Uh, I'm not gonna do the devil deal. I'm just... Oh, no. Okay, not bad. Hey, secret room, let's go. Picture? Embrace chaos, let's go. I don't know what it does, but we'll find out. Necropolis. Ooh, toxic breath. Let's go. Scrambled item pool. If it was chaos. Ah, uh, thank you, Raindrop. It's not much, but I'll take it. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, thank you for the heart. God damn it. Like it, it never wants to poop when you need it to. Come on. Okay, fine. Oof. Number two will drop a bomb every three seconds you hold the tear down. Really? I didn't know that. I thought it was always random. But only once the key pressed. Ah. I thought T was Randy Tui. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. Only learned recently it's consistent. Ah. Well, I don't think I'm going to make it anyways. Uh, nope. Something hit me. Alright. Try it again. Something good? Uh, HP the chaos item you picked up was Curse of Power LMAO. <laughs> I'm assuming that's kind of bad. Hmm. No money. Curse of power is infamous bad item. Uh of course it is. <laughs> Alright, let's do this again. Drop several troll bombs around room when you take damage. Oh yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. I remember that one. Oh my god. Jeez. I don't take it there's any like benefit or down downside to just collecting the money early, right? one okay cool uh, I guess I'll take the key only downside is very rare scenarios like potentially getting a trinket that spawns other consumables on penny pickup mm. or if you get a Jera room 
You get a Jera rune. Never heard of one of those. Got 14. I'll take this. The milk? Maybe the milk? Yeah, we'll take the milk. Runes are unlockable consumables. You get ah. them from the base game challenges. Ah, oh, the challenges. I haven't done any challenges, actually. I guess we can do the devil room or the the deal. Uh, not just yet though. Nine. Let's see. Hmm. I think. You know what? I'll just. I'll save my money, I'll just go ahead and do the devil room. Or the deal. Ugh. I hate this one. Mainly because of all like the tiny enemies that it spawns. But at least they're easy. It's not like it's hard. I say as I got hit that time. Messed up my aim. Let's see. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna hold off, and I'm gonna take the key. I was expecting to get some money out of it. Hell yeah! Oh my god! And of course, it gives me keys. Keys for days, baby. That means I can go back here and open up these chests. Let's go. Could have, could have got like a useful item. Damage and luck up and money. Let's go, baby. Oh well, at least I'm, I'm ready for the next area. I guess I could have bought bomb. No, I don't think there were any bombs. Darkness. It's the best, a hey. Collect them all. Hey, yeah, this would be useful. Twelve. Judgment. Lay waste. Wheel of Destiny. The Power of Darkness. Uh... Say judgment. I may pick up that heart. Yeah, I'm probably going to get this heart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Where are they at? Oh, jeez. Oh my god. A little shit from across the screen, from off screen. You love to see it. The bats. Oh, where are you at? Oh god. I should have tried to keep that kept that guy alive long enough. There we go. Oh, never mind, it's just... It's the skull dudes. Oh, the fire hurts them. 
Sweet. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't a bad run. Uh... Dog food. I'm pretty sure dog food is health as well. Uh, I may end up taking it. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Take the HP. I'm going to need it. I'm not that good. And I'll just save. Or do it. No, I'll save it. I'll save it. Because we're going to go through the boss fight, and I'm pretty sure the boss fight doesn't hand out a lot of money. Jeez. I hate the darkness curse. I hate curses. I hate curses. I hate curses. Oh, it's this dude. I mean, he's not hard. He's just a pain. How did that not hit him? Is he going to be like really on him? Okay, easy, 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 easy. Okay. Let's go. Wait, I thought there was supposed to be an angel deal here. What the hell? Was I lied to? Was I scammed? Or did I mess it up somehow? Hmm. Yeah, I'll take it. This is already awful. Oh, it's that dude. Yeah. Shoots out his eyeballs. Ah, I can't believe that hit me. There you go. Easy. Hey, there it is. Ha ha ha. Let's go. I can take both of them, right? No, I can only take one. Holy Water Splash. Eh, it's fine. I should have gone for the for the nail. I'm pretty sure the nail is a damage up. Uh, yeah, we're gonna... Go now, Holmes. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, man, no, that's cool. I'll catch you around. Good luck, bro. Hmm, <laughs> thanks. Alright, let's get out of here. Hopefully the next area won't be as cursed. Brother is watching. Uh, I'm not going to get the matches. Actually, no, I'll take the match. Why not? I don't think it really does anything like right off the bat. And a key. Hmm. You know what? Let's try our luck. Well, I could come for the fly in the jar, I guess. Ooh, wait. Nah, not yet. Jeez, why do you get lasers that go across the room? Can I get that? Ooh. Oh my god, I hate when they do that. This is just like, let me just shoot my face out at you. And then 
around the skulls that don't die. Yeah, it's amazing. You'll love to see it. Uh, oh my lord. Alright, what's what the hell still alive? Oh my god, it's a stupid spider. Okay, got them all. Okay, big money, big prizes. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna grab this. And do I want the fly in the jar? I don't feel like I need it. I don't even know what it does. Uh, I don't feel confident enough to reset the sail. Range up. There we go. Okay, this is fine. I already got everything in there. Screw it. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Easy. This guy again. Oh, my God. He can do that. It's okay. I'm doing fine. This is fine. Uh, I'm just going to get out of here. Yeah, I'll just save my money. I got keys anyways. Oof. Look at these dudes. I got bombs, but I haven't used them. Why not? One more? Okay. Fine, I guess the secret rooms can be anywhere. Uh, please be something good. Rage. Let's go. Okay. That ain't too bad. Ooh. And two coins. Let's go. I'm grabbing this one. All stats up. Let's go. Doesn't really look like it, though. Actually, it kind of does. It feels that way. Oof. Look at these dudes. Thinking they got a chance against me. Oh god, they hit me. Got him. God, these dudes teleport. Come on. Stop teleporting. Oh, no, 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 no. That hit me. Are you still alive? I actually have no idea how many of those were still from that previous wave and how many were from, like, a newer wave. That was some bullshit. Alright, we're taking this one. Temporary damage up. It's the best item. And I don't have enough for anything else. I guess I should have gone. I should have saved up for the eight ball. Got everything in here. Got everything in here. All right, sweet. Give me a second. Oh man, stretching my back. All right, let's do this. Oh my lord, what is that? Oh my god. 
Look at these dudes, man. <laughs> Please, I'm almost done. Okay, I gotta buy health. Because I am screwed. Take this. May as well just go for these. There we go. It's it's not all back, but it's it's better than what I had before. Oh no. Nothing. Here? Nothing. What a shame. What a rip. Alright, I think I may get an ending on this one. Oh my god, it actually hit me. Wide shot. I don't think that actually helps on this one. Get down, he feels stompy. Uh, it should be fine. Uh, I was trying to get him over here. Imagine that. Literally nothing. Oh wait, I got bombs. I can blow these up. Sweet. Uh, I mean, the meat cube's pretty cool, but I don't got money for it. Alright. Just check again. Yeah, I did get everything. Got half a heart. Okay. Oh no, these dudes, I hate them. Why does everything gotta be invisible? Why does it have to be invisible or teleport? Oh well, I'm doing it pretty good. I'm actually going through this one like really quick now. Come on, I just need you to get over here. Oh, what the hell was that? What is this? Okay, easy. Okay, I didn't lose as much health as I, health as I thought I was. Uh, probably grab the cube. Yeah, we'll grab the cube. And... Ooh, ooh. Oh no, spider, please! We're gonna go ahead and bomb it. Probably shouldn't have. Well, never mind. That only works for one floor, so that's, that's not going to be helpful at all. Uh, I forget what the blue map does. It's like the one thing I don't remember. Uh, I'm going to save that whole heart up there. Just take the health half one down here. Okay, let's do this. I've never seen this boss before. But it scares me. Look at this thing and that it's a Toho game. I guess I could be using the uh my book. Oh why would I? We're gonna use it on this guy. Okay, easy. 16, enough for... No, I'm not going to take anything. I'll just save it for the next floor. Hmm. 
I don't know what I grabbed, but I like it. Is there anything else I can wreck? No. No. Okay. I really do like this like crazy chant that's going on in the background. Ooh, treasure room? What? For me? The shop? Oh, there's literally nothing here. What a shame. No bonus rooms for you. Uh, I'll probably end up taking the hangar. Yeah, we'll take the hangar. Tears. Ah, oh, shoot. That's tears up. I thought it was something else. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. It's literally nothing. Uh, I'll save and I'll consider the sandwich. They just keep hitting. What was ah oh, stupid fly? <laughs> I'm getting hit way too much right now. The hell was that? Okay, I was going to save that for the boss, but this room is getting ridiculous. This stupid spider. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. There's so many. Uh, great. Yeah, give me a second, Eschaton. I'm literally about to die. Oh man, what is still alive? There's something still alive in here. What is it? Okay, no, 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 no. Everything's dead. Okay. Oh man, this is bad. There is so much shit in there. Okay, we'll take the sandwich. And I'm... And I'm forced to eat. To waste my money. Alright, yeah, I'll hydrate you. Hydrate it up. All right, let's go. There you go. Let's see. Is that a posture check too? Yeah, give me a second. I really need to add an audio cue on that posture check. Oh, man. I'll get around to it eventually. Uh, I was looking at, at a, what is it, the, the audio library for, for all that stuff. And I, I found some good ones, but then I found out to, that you can only have like five for like channel point redeems. And the rest are for, uh, uh, what's it called? You know, bits and stuff like that, which kind of sucks. An angel. Alright, let's get these little dudes out of the way first. Ah, uh, stop! 
and like knows that I'm trying to get on the side. All right, you're going down, buddy. Got him. Easy. GG no re. Oh my god. What are you? I have, these are a bunch of enemies that I have never seen before. Adapt, overcut, or what is it? Adapt, survive, and overcome. That's how we do it here. Uh, no, nah, I'm gonna save. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Let's see. Hell yeah. Uh, you know what? Let me blow up this. Anything good? Hell yeah. And we're gonna go ahead and blow this one up too. Why not? Oh no! It was fine. Okay, now we can get out of here. I guess I could have just used them for like secret... Look for the secret rooms and said, Oh no, it's the boss. I'm not ready for this. Ultra greed. Please. Okay. Ha 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 Okay. Big money, big prizes. Let's go. Ultra greed. Look how strong he is! Look at all that HP he's got! It's bullshit! Whew. Uh. Oh no! Oh no, no, no. I'm not gonna survive this. Look how much health he has! Like, I hardly do anything. And I can't even use my book, because it didn't replenish on the last room. This is bullshit. I've beaten this guy once. Oh, I didn't make it. Oh, no, it, it screwed me up. It was like the longest hour that I've played Binding of Isaac. How long have I been playing? This has been two hours of nothing but suffering for Binding of Isaac. Oh man, what time is it? What time is it anyways? My phone go. I leave it. I think I left it somewhere. Oh no, here it is. Man, freaking Isaac, dude. I swear to God. Oh, I accidentally hit B. Give me a second. It's always... It's always this way with Binding of Isaac. It's just like... It's just like suffer. Suffer unto Isaac. Every time. Without... Without fail or question. Give me a minute. I just want to check something. All right, let me let me just look up another game right now, because honestly, like th this isn't going the way that I planned it, and it's it's legit upsetting. <laughs> uh, I may pull a. I I may end up doing some sprite work soon. Uh. You know what? Let's do that. Let's let's do some sprite work. I'm I'm kind of feeling that right now. I've been trying to do a uh, a sprite a day. So let me see. Let me move this over here. Bring us down to here and launch this. 
Yeah, I've been trying to do uh, sprite work at least one a day, so uh, I'm going to try this one. So you can see all the uh, files that I've been working on. Uh, when did I get this? I got this like Tuesday or something like that. Um, a sprite. Uh, let me get rid of the. Let me get rid of the Twitch logo. Let's see and change this up. Edit. What are we doing? Art. Art stream. That's what uh, that's what you get here when you come to the gondola stream. Uh, I can only have five. That's right. Uh, get rid of. Get rid of this one. You gotta get rid of the furry tag. I'm sorry. It had to be this way. Had to get rid of the furry tag to get the uh the pixel art tag out but uh we're gonna do a new one we're gonna stick to the one 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 or yeah the 112 by 112 um normally you usually work in like you know 32 bits or 16 bits or something like that uh, i forgot i can't be using these there you go forgot i gotta use i i i need to do the number keys on something else or do my e my emote toggles on something else uh one one two two by one one two okay uh where is it at here it is i usually keep this on the bottom uh i don't imagine i'll be doing a lot of animating on this one actually i may animate this one uh let's see yeah, this is this is just slightly awkward for me right now. There we go. Uh, let's see. So for this one, I was thinking about doing Bloom, Professor Bloom. Uh, I've done one for Velik. I've done one. F I've done a few for Woozle now, and uh, I'm gonna do one for Bloom now. And then I haven't decided who's next. Uh, I considered Ari -E -P, um for the next one uh, because I want to animate the uh, her what is it like her little slime form that she has. I want to try doing that one. Here we go. Actually, you know what? Doesn't he have like a really good chibi form? Or I, I swear I saw someone post like a a really good chibi form of of him once but uh i'd probably have to look through his art tag let me see uh if i can't find it but uh i i have an idea of the pose that i want to do Okay, yeah, I'm not finding it. Okay, so oh wait, actually here it is. It was like at the bottom. It was like one of the first ones that he's got that he got. Uh, but th this will make a really good reference because I've never done chibi before. So give me a second, and I'll put it up on screen so that way y'all can see what I'm taking reference from. Uh, image. Okay, browse, desktop, here we go. I wish it was transparent, though. I probably could have transparent it myself, but it's fine. Let's make this smaller. Uh, I'll put it underneath the, uh, the chat. There we go. Is that going to look bad? Eh, right there should be fine. So that way I at least have somewhat of a reference. But let's see. I'm going to try to sketch out a skeleton first. Nah. You know, let me use my tablet for this one. Because uh, you can use a tablet with this. Uh, I mainly just kind of mouse it. Uh, mainly because I have the pixel... 
mainly because I mainly use like pixel perfection. Yeah, pixel pixel perfect on it. Let me get my controller out of the way first. Oh, I did not mean to drop it. Maybe that's why my controller doesn't work half the time because I keep dropping it. Oh wait. Forgot it only works on the main tab or on the main monitor. Give me a second. Monitor. What is it? Would it be three? No. Uh, primary. No. Monitor two. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Let me. I don't know why I have this picture so zoomed out. There we go. Bring this up. You know what? I can just bring it over this way. There we go. All right. So let's try to do this. Ugh, this is so weird because my tablet's set up for... My tablet's set up for uh, Clip Studio, and I need to get it set up for this now, which I'll probably do later. I'll probably do it tomorrow. There we go. Pixel Perfect's on. Uh, let's see. B. You know what? Like, how hard is it to actually set it up? Can I have, like, multiple profiles? Slablet. Slablet. Oh, you can't have multiple profiles. Okay. Uh, pen eraser. I'll do. I'll do this later. I'm gonna. Um, I'll figure out a way to set it up later. But I. I, I need the tablet right now for the skeleton. So kind of like that. Even my control Z. Oh, there it goes. Why wasn't it working? Up working before. Pixel Perfect isn't on. Okay. Uh, no. No. It's like, this is always the biggest pain in the ass, is trying to get the right angle. Alright, you know what? Spine. Skeleton. Bicep, tricep, forearm. There we go. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. You know, not hips wrong way. There we go. Hip. I guess I can turn off pixel perfection for this. Hip. There we go. There we go. I feel like the shoulders may be a t little too big, but it should be fine for this. Like I said, I've never actually drawn a chibi before. And then... <laughs> you know, we're just going to use the circle tool. I use the circle tool for now and, and work the head out later. Oh. You know, I'll just, I'll just, I'll draw a normal circle. I gotta, I gotta get better at drawing circles anyway. Let me use pixel perfection for this. Uh, I can't do it with a mouse. All right, back to slablet. Oh my god, this tablet does not want to work with this. There we go, that's pretty good. doesn't have a neck, though. You know what, let me get the neck on, and then... There we go. Now I have a reference. Oh my god, why does it do that? It's like I start drawing, and then it just like loses connection. I'm pretty sure it's just a pixel thing only. Maybe it's because I'm doing it too fast. There we go, that looks pretty good. That's not bad. So. Uh, 
Okay, let me put the tablet back down. Oh no, I was about to say, please don't mess this up. Okay, so I get a pretty good skeleton idea of what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. Save as Gloom. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, I think I only need one layer for this. Yeah, I only need one layer for this. I'm not going to be doing a lot in uh, terms of animating. Actually, I may need a second layer. New layer. We'll call this... Wait. Let me make sure I name the... There we go. So we'll name this one. I always like to use caps locks uh, for naming my layers, just so that way I can actually see them. And we'll name this one... Back ground uh there we go I don't have anything uh if, if there's something drawn on it you'll see that little circle i'm pretty sure there is a way that you can yeah there you go you can like make it zoom in you can actually see what the layer is but it's not really worth it especially considering the space that i'm working with probably better like if you're using like a 32 bit but i'm using something bigger yeah like that like that's fine i guess Probably good if you're working in like, you know, small layers or not as many layers, but I may end up using two, maybe three layers for this one. Uh, actually, let me pull up the Woozle one, uh, the, the last one that I did. Uh, what is it? Woozle Circus. Here we go. There are like so many layers to this one. Like one, two, three. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four five six seven eight eight layers to this it was uh, a <laughs> there there were there were a lot of layers there were a lot of onions in this one Infinity clowning. <laughs> i do like that though how it, like kind of goes normal here and then there's a little bit of a recoil and then it just like bounces back yeah really makes it look cool Kind of make I, I I do wish I put some music. I probably could put some music on it. Getting the woozle down was actually the hardest part, honestly, because I, I I don't know how to draw animals. So uh, I had to look up a little pixel guide on how to do do animals, but I think it came out pretty good. Uh, I feel like I should have used a slightly lighter brown for in between here, because it it kind of looks like it blends in, and you can't really see the black eyes as much. But uh, yeah, that's that's stuff I can edit later. Uh, I do need to edit this part though, where it overlaps, and it's something I didn't really notice until like I had posted it. Um, what it should have done is it should have gone up like this, and then it should have started coming outwards, uh, like this. Tent. Yeah, it should have started coming outwards like that. But, uh, I mean, that, that's stuff that I can edit later. Uh, the, it shouldn't be too hard here. Uh, all it is is just, you know, most of it's already out of the way. Most of it is just, like, starting somewhere right here and then just bringing it down that way. And then just, you know, recoloring and stuff like that. Uh, same thing with this. It's just, it's probably fine where it is right here, but instead of going this way, just have it, you know, branch out. Kind of like how it is right there like that and then just make this white make it go upwards like that so yeah this this won't be too hard to to fix up and edit but yeah it's pretty cool i like it uh i may make the ball rotate i tried i tried doing that but it just makes it look like it's like you're having a seizure uh i gotta look into like rotation for pixels um I think what I could have done is, uh, yeah, you know what? Actually, what I could have done is uh, move the lines, like leave these right here, and then on a second second layer, have a. Uh... Oh wait, I'm on the wrong one. It's behind. And then on the second layer, have uh, lines out here, so that way it kind of looks like there's at least some motion to it. 
uh, either that or may have needed to use uh, smear frames. But yeah, th this was a lot of fun to do. Uh, I had the clouds animated, but I couldn't get the frames to work properly with it. Uh, because the woozle is moving on two frames. So you got your startup. Yeah, you got your startup frame right here. He holds it here, and then he pops back up here. And then does it again. But yeah, like I said, this was a lot of fun. You know, let me check something. How did that look with the smile? Yeah, you can kind of see a smile there. Nah, it doesn't look that good. Sorry, was no smile for you. All right, let's get back to this one. Uh, let's see. So Bloom's got his his funny hat. <laughs> Uh, let's see. He's got a little funny hat here, so... Let's see. Round and round... No. Like that, because he's kind of looking upwards. And then I'll... Fix it in a little bit. Round. You know what? I shouldn't be. I should probably do the hat on a separate layer. So that way it's it's easier. Uh, I'm not going to animate the hat, but definitely doing it on another layer will make it a little bit easier. So that way I can see what I'm doing. Let's uh let's also do it in. Let's see. His hat's white. We'll make it. Oh no 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 no! I almost crashed my own stream. Uh, we'll we'll make the hat outline gray so that way I can differentiate it. Actually, I should probably leave it something else because this background is gonna make it hard to see. Yeah, yeah something like that. I'm like really trying to imagine how it would look. Um. Let's see, but perspective really isn't my thing. There we go. Something like that. I'm just trying to get a rough outline of it. Let's erase the head. Because this is also messing me up right now. There we go. So that looks a little bit better. Let's get back to the hat. And it's more straight. It's not angled. Kind of like how uh, Jones' hat is. There we go. And then I'll just clean up some of these edges here. Oh, clean it up too much. There we go. Pixel art helps if uh, you have like some background in drawing, which slightly I do. Not a lot though. Let's see. Yeah. Here we go. Actually, you know what? I will need that there because it's going to be slightly colored in. And then let's go ahead and add the red in just to give it some... Uh, about right here should be fine. Oh, no, I got the eraser still on. Okay. And then we'll just fill it in. Erase that. Okay, so I mean the, the hat's starting to tape take a little shape. Let's get that out of the way. Clean up these lines a bit. Uh, you know what? Bring out the line right here. 
There we go. Uh, it could be a little straighter. Or closed in, I think. Uh, a little more. Actually, I think just making it right here would be better. There we go. It looks slightly better, but I can I can definitely fix up this top part a little bit more. Yeah, it's not as straight as I'd like it to be. It's like one of the bigger issues with Pixel that I've come across now is just trying to get it at the right angle. You know what? I may want to double up on the edges for this one. I think it would work out pretty good, actually. Let's see. And that's mainly just making uh, right angles right there. One more? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, thicken up the angle a little bit. Yeah, that looks... That, looks, that doesn't look too bad. I think just as long as I stick to that same... Uh, the same lining for the rest of it, but I think it should look fine on the hat. And then what do we got? White. There we go. Yeah, this can be evened out a little bit more. Let's, uh... No, I'm using the wrong one. There we go. No. No. Maybe? I think it just needs a red right there. And right here. And right there. And right there. I could use less red there. Nah. Okay, that should be fine. It doesn't look too bad. Let's see. Like I said, there's still uh there's still a lot that needs to be done. Let's work on Bloom's face. No. Shoot, this is in the way. That should be fine. I may need to angle it a little bit more. Yeah, I need to. His face goes like this. Oh. Yeah, the face is going to go like that. I should use, I should really use different colors when, uh, when I'm doing that. Something like that. I feel like that angle's a little off. There we go. Nah, it's still off. There we go. Something like this. But it's mainly just the pixels that like throw me off. So let's go back to black so I can plot this out. It's just this one now. There we go. Wish there was a shortcut for pixel perfect. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try something else for the nose. Uh, rather than using just a black dot, I think I'm gonna use the the skin tone. Uh, maybe a little paler. Bloom is a pretty pale fella. What was that? Oh, it's the top part. It's not connected. Give me a second. There we go. That should connect it now. No, it's still not connected. What is not connected to it? Oh, it's just like one pixel. G. Bring back that flesh tone. 
There we go. Uh, let's fix this up. Actually, let's bring this back. A little like that, maybe. Nah, it's too much. Two should be fine. Maybe just one. I think one should do it. Maybe one. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make another layer for the mouth. Yep. Let's turn the hat back on so he doesn't look weird. I mean, it already looks plenty weird. <laughs> like I said, uh, pixel art is still not my thing yet. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I should probably be using... Uh, What's it called? Instead of a black outline, I should probably be using, like, maybe a red outline. Maybe. I doubt it. I don't think that's going to look good. Nah, that just makes it look like he has lipstick on. <laughs> Alright, I'll go back with the black one. Let's see. It's kind of like a weird D. That doesn't look too bad. And then... I guess this should do fine. Maybe. Maybe a little bit lighter. Or maybe darker. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's not too bad. Uh, the deck, the neck definitely. Actually, you know what? I can probably just move the head back a little bit. Will that work? Because I think all this will do is just move the head. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Move the mouth again. Move it down one, and then we just got to move the hat down. I'm going to rework the hat. I don't like the way the hat's looking. And then I guess we can go ahead and start working on the body. Let's see, guy. He's got a blue jacket, so we can start out with a darker blue. It's kind of like a, no, it's not a navy blue. But uh, definitely using a navy blue would help out here. Let's see. Let's fix up the neck. Just make the neck separate, or the head separate from the body right now, so I can get a better outline again. Okay, there we go. You know what? Maybe it should come back a little. Nah, it should be fine there. If there's an artist in the house, assistance is required. <laughs> not really. I think I got it. No, that's bad. It's not centered. Uh, wrong one. I had the eraser picked. There we go. Nah, next still looks a little too wide. Let's see. You know what? The neck should be smaller anyways. Yeah, actually that looks pretty good. Because then the, uh, the collar has to come over it anyways. And that'll add a somewhat extra layer of thickness to the neck. But it should be fine. It should be fine regardless. It just looks a little weird right there. That's all. Let's 
And then I gotta get the hair in later, but I'll do that later. Or, I already said that. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, yeah, this should be fine. Let's go back to the coat. Yeah, I can do this on the same layer. Yeah, pixel... no. So I'll just get the sleeve. And then it... nope. Let's see... actually I need a full body. I want to see what exactly I'm working with. Okay, there we go. Nah, could be better. Dang it, Bloom. Why don't you ever have any full body artwork? Okay, you know what? I gotta go back to the art tag. Okay. Glamrock Bloom. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, that'll that'll be good enough for me. So let's see. He's got the pink vest in the center, so. Right about here should do it. No, it's got to be more angled this way. There we go. Right now I'm just trying to get the outlines done for a lot of the stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't... Okay. And then a lot of this will end up, you know, blending in for the collar and stuff. There we go. With uh, white being on the inside. Yeah, white being on the inside and then also, you know, you got room for the bow tie. But that's not the proper color. Actually, it kind of is. Nah, we'll, we'll use a different color for the bow tie. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, let's see. Coat should come down this way. And then bring it up right there. And bring it up there. And now all I gotta do is just color it in. Which, uh, I can't do a fill. Oh, shoot. Let's erase. There we go. Actually, should I use a lighter tone? Let's check a lighter tone. Yeah, we'll try a lighter tone for the inside. Will that look good? Because it's something that I've been experimenting with a little bit is using a uh, kind of like the darker tone for the outside and then a lighter tone on the inside just so that way I can try to avoid using a uh, black lines oh wait I'm crossing over the wrong there we go okay and then that pink will just go up a little more Uh, you know what? Let me just see if I can. Okay, I can't fill that one in. Can I fill this one in? Sweet. Okay. And then we just got to get rid of the skeleton line. You know what? That's looking kind of bad right there. It looked pretty good with the 
skeleton design right there, but I'm going to have to bring the elbow in. Uh, you know what? Let's just go all the way through. And then I can adjust it accordingly in a bit. Eraser's too big. Yeah, you're gonna have to adjust accordingly. I mean, but I also haven't also didn't get the inside layer here. Nah. There we go. Okay. Uh, why is pixel art such a pain? Why can't I just be like instantly good at it? Why do I actually have to practice and put reps in? Uh, the wrong thing. There we go. Nope, wrong. There we go. Yeah, okay, so I can, I can see a lot of adjustments for the jacket that need to be fixed. There we go. And bring that up there, and let's just get rid of this line. Actually, probably bring the vest up a little higher. Let's see. Yeah, right there looks better. Oh, wrong one. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, okay. And then just color it in right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Actually, I need to use... No, the yellow, the vest doesn't go up that high. Okay, so... I got the wrong one. Nope. Let's see. All right, and then we can fill it in here. Uh, I keep doing that. There we go. And then we'll just outline it here. No. Here we go. So that way we get some separation. And then the inside will be white. There we go. Okay, so it's coming together a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit coming together. I just got to move the head upwards a little bit more. Either that or just, yeah, I got to move the head up a little more. Let's see. I guess the vest can come down more too. And then, yeah, I got to get rid of that. So now comes to fixing the elbow. Uh, looks worse now. I think it's just because it's it's so off uh 
what do you call it? Uh, disproportioned is what I'm the word that I'm looking for. There we go. Okay, this side looks a lot better now. Yeah, that side looks a little bit better. Maybe just shorten it a little bit. And yeah, maybe one more pixel. There we go. And then... There we go. Yeah, that side looks a lot better now. Um, let's see. You know what? Let me switch to black for this. Okay, so that's the outline. That'll be the sleeve. There, that looks a little bit better. So let's go ahead and color this in. Or rather, uh, erase all this. Actually, let me save it first. So that way I can come back to it if I don't like the way it looks. Oh, working? Oh no. Game, please. A game freaking program. Oh, there it goes. All right, let's try now. Let's get rid of all this here. You know what? That is looking a lot better. Uh, let me fix up this line. There we go. Yeah, yeah this, this is looking a little bit better. Oh, eraser. Jeez. Uh, let me turn off pixel perfect because it's really messing some stuff up. It's like the only thing with pixel perfect though is you need it off and messes some stuff up. Okay. Slightly better. That elbow's still jutting out way too much, though, so... Maybe that? No. No, I want to say it's the length of the arm is what's throwing it off. Because it does look a little bit longer than it needs to. It's also... Let's see... How many widths is this one? One, two, three, four, five. Five widths across. So one, two, three. Well, that's going diagonal, so that's fine. Two, three, four. Three, four. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, so this is where it starts to go off. It needs to stay two, three, four. Two, God dang it. Two, three, four, five. No wait. Actually I should be counting it to here. Five, four. Three, four. Five, four. Oh my god. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, so it stays uniform across. And, like, it's it's okay there, but it's as soon as I get to the bend in the elbow, that's where it, like, really messes me up. Give me a second. And get some water so I can refresh. Oh, wait, my model isn't even on screen. No one told me. Jeez. There we go. Okay, let's uh let's get rid of all this. Oh no. Let me 
So this right here is fine. Oh, you know what? I think I just got an idea. There we go. That looks way better. Who knows? All you had to do was just paint. <laughs> I hate painting. Like painting is a is the weirdest concept to me. And I can't tell you why, other than it's it's super weird. Because uh who was it? Oh, Arya. She was she was doing a painting of Germa and it was amazing because it's it's a completely different concept to drawing, where uh, as drawing, hold on, let me, there we go. Whereas drawing, you're kind of drawing with like lines and stuff like that. With painting, you're doing what I just did right there. Um, so let me let me actually just you know put up a new layer so I can show y'all an experiment. So you know with. With drawing, you're kind of just, you know, let me turn on pixel perfect for this. It's like circle. And it's like cool. Okay. And then, you know, you, you add the lines in and you start, you know, it's everything starts taking shape. An apple, basically. And get rid of this. But with painting, it's, it's so dramatically different. Like it's a completely different different way of thinking and looking at stuff where it's like painting it's just like let me start off with something small uh oh geez using the wrong one okay there we go where it's painting you know you paint and then you just like start adding in like shades and stuff like that and then let's see can i get a brown for the stem there and then let's go back to this oh geez oh no let's go back to this so i can add some shadows uh let's go to a lighter color to to give it kind of like that highlight look yeah get a bit of highlight and then we'll give it a little shine in the center and you know let's get rid of this because it makes it look a little rotten uh, there we go there we go uh we can add a shadow down here though actually i'd have to go on the bottom layer some like that actually it doesn't look too bad honestly uh, let's get a little green in there for the leaf. But yeah, like pa painting is just like a completely different way of like drawing, and uh, it's it's crazy. There you go. See, and then you got a you got a little apple, and then you know, and drawing you kind of just fill it in and stuff like that. But yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, that, that that's how I've interpreted drawing to painting. Um, it's pretty pretty weird concept for me, but I mean, like I I do it, and it's like, oh, you know, it, it, that don't look too bad. That's a that's a solid. <laughs> Are you talking about a certain orange that may be annoying? But yeah. I like that apple. It's actually pretty good. It's my first attempt at drawing an apple. Oh no, Bloom got poo on him. There you go. But yeah, uh, painting technique is kind of what I use to fix this arm up. So uh, let's fix it up even more. Bye. Actually, you know what? Can I just do this story was busy working on a gadang meme and there's a bunch of hassle with it oh no no that's cool dude um uh i'm just trying to get this done now oh wrong one uh working on a a bloom 
pixel now. There we go. Okay, that should be fine. And maybe bring it in one more. There we go. Yeah, that, that should be fine. And then let's start coloring it in. At least as best as I can. Oh, too high. There we go. So this already looks way better. Yeah, this already looks like infinitely better. I may bring the elbow in a little bit more just by erasing the outside. Yeah, that looks pretty good. No, leave that there. Oh no, I'm erasing. Nah, man, I get it though. Memes, uh, memes take a lot of time to uh to get right. I kind of want to leave that darker right there because it actually gives it a little bit of a uh, of depth underneath uh, the arm and the coat right there. So I think I'm gonna leave that there. I just gotta fix this outline right here, otherwise it looks off. Yeah, that that doesn't look too bad. It's just you can't go too heavy on it. There we go. That looks pretty good. It still looks a little too big right there. there. Let's see how that looks. Still a little too big, so oh, let's uh let's repaint it. Oh no, that's erasing, not painting. Hmm. I was just trying to get this angle to meet up with this angle in a more smaller way. So let's try something else. Okay, that... oh no, jeez. Okay. That looks way better. And then draw the pants now. Luckily, the pants shouldn't be too hard. Uh, do we have pants? <laughs> Let's see. It's like all the artwork I seem to find of the bloom is from Glimmy lately. Like, Let's see. Let's sort through the latest. Hmm. Let's see. I guess I'll just sort through Bloom's media tab, see what a color the pants are like I'm assuming it's the same color as his coat but uh I may need to make it darker just so that way they don't blend together yeah yeah they they, they are a slight shade darker uh so here yeah here should be fine okay that's too far out there we go no so, here and here, and then we'll go up a shade, fill it in there, 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 and then there. Yeah, something like that. That's actually a pretty decent shade. Uh, it's just the angle's off, so let's readjust. Oh no.
Okay, that should be better. Oh no. There we go. And split the line there. No, that's too much. There we go. Okay. Okay, it's not too bad. But uh, I can definitely readjust it later. Uh, just trying to get the outline right now. Yeah, because uh, the pants are too lopsided. They should be a little bit more straight like that. Or at least the belt line is, I mean. But yeah, that's not too bad. What else am I missing? Oh yeah, his, his little bow tie and the buns. So, what color is buns? I guess they're kind of like blackish. And we'll offset them to give it some motion. Actually, how many buns does he have? It looks like a four one. Four? Yeah, four. So, two, three, four, five, six. I got six, one too many. I may just go with three just to keep it uh, simple. Unless I can stagger them out a little bit better. But uh, let's go with the darker shade so that way we can show a good, you know, Split. There we go. Actually, right here. There we go. And yeah, the, the pants do need to come up to here at least. There we go. So it looks slightly better, but still off at the legs. Uh, I think the this area needs to come up more. So you know, let me just see if I can do this. Yeah, there we go. No. There we go. That looks way better. Digital art is amazing. <laughs> uh, it's this part that's also making it look weird. Okay. Yeah, that looks slightly better. Oh, erased again. There we go. Uh, maybe I should There we go. Should I? Yeah, that looks fine. And then we'll just add some black in the middle. Maybe they should be too long. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Okay, uh, let's get rid of this. Looking a little bit better. It's not too bad. Can you tell I've never done pixel art? <laughs> or uh, haven't drawn anything in years? Uh, okay, but it, it's not coming out that bad. I do want to make it slightly bigger, though. Let's see. How bad is this going to mess it up? Couldn't tell at all. Absolutely <laughs> bridge worthy. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Woozle. 
Okay, and then now I just gotta get the hands. Uh, absolute fridge worthy. It means a lot. Let's make the head a little smaller, actually. You can probably also deform it a little bit. Not too much, though. There we go. Something like that. A little... Yeah, a little right there. That should be fine. Okay. Actually, I think I'm going to have to use a slight gray for this. No, not right there. There we go. can barely even see that. It looks so weird. But uh, I do got to make room for the bow tie. I forgot about that. Actually, let me use a black. Oh, no, I'm using the eraser. For the bow tie. Actually, no, I don't need to use a black. Use a gray for the line in the middle. And then I guess his bow tie is a little bit blue. Right there? Yeah, I think. Try making these squares. There we go. Somewhat, eh, it could be. I think this can be pulled in more. No, what am I doing wrong? Stupid eraser. Okay, so it's too wide. Too wide at the top. Three at the bottom. Oh, it's because it's not here. There. There we go. That's slightly better. I still think it needs to be angled somehow. Uh, let's see. Is that? No. Okay. A little bit. No. Looks better right there. It's just weird. It's like a weird shape. But, I mean, you can tell what it's supposed to be at a, at a great distance. Uh, let me see. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's make this right here the shade of his neck. No. Let's bring that in right there. Gray it up. There we go. really is fridge worthy it's like mom look at what i made in kindergarten today <laughs> look what i made in ms paint i gotta get those reps in though oh that was my apple layer i need to get rid of this Okay. Uh No. No. Ah, 
I was drawing on the wrong layer. Uh, it always happens. Oh my god, did I just... I did. I screwed it up. Drawing on the wrong layer again. I keep alt or control Z way too much. Okay, but I got it this time for sure. No, that's bad. It is the face, though. That's really messing me up. I'm perfectly fine with the body. But it's it's the face. But I'm pretty sure it's just because I have them bald right now. I don't have any uh I don't have any hair on them, so that's why it probably looks weird to me. Let's see. Oh, man, I've been at this for like three hours now. Jeez. I don't even know how long I've spent on this pe uh, like this alone. Maybe something that I uh not shelve, but uh probably do something offline. Uh I do want to finish this one up though, but uh, the amount of work that I gotta, that I still need to do, especially for the background, uh, I'm fine with the mouth. I, it's just the the face and the hat that I need to work on. Uh, but I also haven't eaten anything, and like since I woke up, I had like a protein bar, and I was like, eh, this this will be fine. This will be good enough. I feel like if I get the hat down, it might be better. Let me uh. I need just attempt to draw some hair. Should I draw the hat and the hair on the same layer? Maybe I should. What's the worst that could happen? Let's see, he's got like brownish hair. You know what? Let's try painting it in. Let's see. Actually... No, nah, it should be fine. It should be fine to do it like this. It's too straight. Actually, no. Nah, I'm going to paint it in, so... It should be fine. Just to get the smudges around it and then shape it later. There you go. It kind of looks like Bloom. Yeah, and then, you know, sculpt it, or erase it. Yeah, see? All it needs was a little hair. too much. There we go. Oh wait, I'm racing too much. I forgot I drew the hat and the and the hair on the same layer. Oh. Okay, there we go. I guess it was just the hair that was kind of messing me up. There we go. And we'll just paint this back in. A little bit there, a little bit there. Yeah, it's kind of coming together a little bit. <laughs> Very fridge worthy. 
And then I'll come back to the hat later. The hat I may end up having to like kind of paint how I did the arm. Bridget up, Bridget up, Bridget, Bridget up, Bridget up. Make a frame out of Marconi. <laughs> uh, let's see. I mean, it's not coming along too bad. Did I seriously misspell macaroni? Uh, you might have. Did you, Woozle? Did you misspell your favorite food? <laughs> misspell your favorite food? See, there we go. Macaroni isn't my favorite, but it is up there. I made some today. Ooh, fancy. Like homemade Mac or uh or uh, like some craft stuff. Enhanced blue box. <laughs> it's blue box. Jeez. Yeah, it's not that bad. There's worst you could do. There we go. Should I? Yeah, I, sh I should paint over that black line. There you go. That way it kind of gives it like that layer approach or that layered look. But uh, I should definitely use a darker. Added an American palm, extra sharp whole cheddar, pepper, garlic, some mustard, and breadcrumbs with olive oil and some more palm for a golden crust. Ooh, fancy. Oh, and tuna. And tuna. Can never go wrong with tuna. Yeah, I kind of like doing that for the outline. Eh, it seems like it'll work all right. That's nah, too much. It's too much. It's too much. Leave it right there. That's fine. And then, yeah, I mean, it's coming along. This still needs a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. I fear that this may be out of my, uh, out of my, uh, what do you call it? Um, expertise. Out of my skill set. Check something. I want to try something. It's called dithering. It's basically just kind of like texturing it to make it look like a different color. Yeah, not really seeing it. It may be just be because it's too dark and too light. Or I haven't done it enough. Give it some shadow at the bottom. It's like, Bloom, look what I made for you in art class today. Yeah, kind of there. I think it's just because I'm using too dark uh, in contrast with too light. This may be too light. Wrong one. I guess if I wanted to, I could have used the Game Boy Color. I considered doing that today. I was like, yeah, you know what, let me do the Game Boy. You know what, I may to use the Game Boy instead. Let me save this. Where's my save? There it is. Uh, where's that? Here. 
Oh, still saving. Jeez. Uh, give it a second. Hydrate. I'll give you your hydrate. Give me a second. Oh, is it? Did uh, did it finally? Oh no, it didn't. Dang it! I thought my uh, my slime finally went through. It's been six days now. I thought the bouncing slime would finally have gone through. Here we go. Game Boy and what is that? No CGA. Is that is this is fine? Where is it? Okay, so that's what it is. DB thirty two. Here it is. Game Boy. Load. And then voila. Let's let's see if we can do it. No. We'll use this for the inside. And this for the outline. Bloom, you're gonna be a Game Boy character. I'm gonna have to look up like some Game Boy sprites and uh, see how all that stuff works. Nope, wrong one. Cause uh, GB or GBC. uh this is Game Boy, like <laughs> green Game Boy. As you can see. Classic. Yep. Classic indeed. Uh, no, this one. There we go. There we go. Uh, this is no. Okay, I know what to do. Since this is the lightest, this should be the white. Uh, oh man, this is going to be complicated. This is actually kind of cool. There we go. This actually might this actually might be kind of cool, cool to work with. Uh, you know, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, this is fine. And then let's mid green it up. Okay. I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna leave the black in there. <laughs> now nah, you know what? I got. A plan. Oh, one. You know what? I will dithering work on this. Yeah, right here. Bring that there. Kind of. But let's do more. Okay, yeah, that looks a little better. There we go. Okay. Uh, no, you're gonna have to go dark on this one. Mm, darker. There we no. Let's go light, and then we'll highlight it. There we go. 
Can we do the same here? Oof, this is going to be weird. I'm working with like four colors on this now, as opposed to like as many other colors that I wanted. Uh... Who would have thought Game Boy coloring was like so complicated and advanced? Well, that's that's too much. Oh, you know what? That's where. Oh no. That's where dithering comes in, as they say, or as they call it. I think that'll work. Learning on the go here, guys. Let's go. Yeah, kind of. I think using a different dithering pattern instead of diagonal would look better though. Let's see. Nah. I mean, it's still kind of the same. It's still going diagonal, no matter how you kind of look at it. But you know what? Let's just keep checkering the, the pants in. There we go. I mean, it definitely does differentiate. Uh, it definitely does make it a little darker, or gives it a different thing from the top. <laughs> Green bloom. Oh no. Add hair. I do know of another way. I feel like there was a fifth color. I feel like white was a uh, was a palette. At least pale was. I don't know. I may just be. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up uh that type of sprite work. Uh, Game Boy. Green bean blue. Green bean blue. Hey, look at it from. From you know that angle, you can barely even tell. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Let me look up some Game Boy sprites. Game Boy sprite. Here we go. So let's see. What are we looking at here? So luckily I found one. And it does look like... There is a fair... Yeah, there there is a black... Why isn't there a black in this palette? Look at this. Oh no, it's not even black. Oh, hold on, wait. Ah, shoot, give me a second. Okay, so let's compare and contrast the colors. So you got this color here, you got this color here, and then you got this color here, and this color here. Ah, okay, I get it. You're... You Shoulder pads are all Sam color. Yeah. Okay, I get it. 
It's, uh... Wait, but I don't get this color. What is this color? Or is... Or is that just, like, a, a default palette? Like... Yeah, I was gonna say, like, or is this transparent? Yeah, 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 it is the background. Okay, I get it now. I get this. Uh... It sucks that it's not part of the palette, but I guess I can figure it out on my own. I can probably just import this image in. Uh, let me see. And add it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. And then... Add... Nope. How do I remove from palette? I don't want this there. It's already there. Ugh. How did I end up adding red? Can I just delete? There we go. Delete. Okay. And oh wait, let's copy this. That's in case. And uh, Control V, add it in the background. There you know it. Background added in. Come on, yellow. Let me switch the color palette, but the background pretty much stayed the same. I think. Yeah, I think that's how it was. Uh, I remember. There it goes. Uh, what was it? Uh, God, what was I gonna say? Um, I I remember playing Pokemon yet. Well, I I had Pokemon Yellow. And a Game Boy Color. That was uh that was my first one. Uh just literally erasing Bloom's face right now. What the hell is that gray? I don't remember if mine was G V or G V C. I'm pretty sure Pokemon Yellow was like it was for both. Um if I remember right, I'm I'm almost positive. Uh, that Pokemon Yellow was for both of them. Uh, it just depended what you put in it or what you put it in. Uh, so if you put Game Boy or you know Pokemon Yellow inside a Game Boy, it would just be you know your greens and stuff like that. But if you put it in a in a color, it would uh you know it would read the colors and stuff like that. So I I think that's what it was for, because I remember some games would do that. Uh, Pokemon Red, if, if you put Pokemon Red in a Game Boy Color, it gave everything like a red tint, and then if you put Pokemon Blue in a Game Boy Color, it gave everything a blue tint, but the color palette was still the same if you put it in a... a special edition for GBC too, yeah. Oh, was there? I'm gonna have to look that up then. Pokemon Yellow. Uh, like what? Box? You might have been right, but I'm not seeing it on Amazon or not Amazon on on Google on Google Images. Yeah, because this is the only one that I see. And then there's the Game Boy Color. Uh, there's this one. Uh, that came with the yellow, uh, Game Boy and uh. A yellow Game Boy Color and a P Pikachu, and this, or you know, special edition or special Pikachu edition, but that's like that's it really. Uh, th this is the box art for all of them that I've been able to find. And you know, dumb kid me never saved the boxes because like oh whatever. Let's see, Pokemon Red. Yeah, I don't think there were. I think it just... I think that's just how they might have been designed. I don't know. Uh, I, I didn't have a lot of Game Boy... Uh, you know, original Game Boy gray cartridge games. Uh, a lot of the ones that I had were, you know, color. Made for the color and stuff like that. Oh, man. But you know what? I think... Uh... 
I'm going to try to do the rest of this in the Game Boy palette. Can I add that and save it? If it doesn't save, it's fine. Uh, probably going to finish working the rest of this um, offline. Uh, now, now that I have access to this fifth palette, that uh, should make things a lot easier without having a, you know, whatever. Oh, shoot. Let's go. Let me just get this transparent, because this is supposed to be white. There we go. And then I got a little hint of blue in there. Go with this color right here. Get all this out of the way. Let me at least get this done. I'm going to leave the black in there so I can trace it over with something else. But yeah, I got a, I got a plan now. I don't know what that gray is, though. If I painted something right there, or if I tried to paint something and then forgot about it, or what. Let's see. Let me see what I can find out what that is. It's not on the mouse. In the background? What? Oh, did I erase? Oh, I erased it. That's what it was. Okay, there we go. All right. There we go. And then I guess we can make the inside. Is that too dark? That may too be too dark. And yeah, that nah, should be fine. Yeah, it looks fine. And then do some dithering on the, the inside right here. Just so that way it doesn't look like he's shirtless. Something like that. Yeah, something like that works. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool working with a very limited palette. Hey, what's up, Vestox? But yeah, this will this will definitely be a be a challenge. Uh, I've I've never worked with like such a limited color palette before, but uh, this should be a lot of fun. Oh man, but uh, let's let's see who else is streaming. Uh, hmm. I know who we can. For we, uh, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Give me a minute. Oh yeah, we'll go to this one. Or is there someone else? What's she doing? Nah. Uh, let me see. What's he doing? Nah. All right. Uh, yeah, I found someone that we can raid. Uh, we're gonna go check out Arbury. She's a she's a duck VTuber. She's not really a duck. She she just likes ducks. But uh, she's really cool. And uh, she's also she's also doing some art stuff. So maybe I can learn something from her. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can all learn something. There she is. Start raid. Oh, man. Freaking tired and hungry. You have no idea how hungry I am right now. But, uh, I'll catch you guys later.